Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to make a tail wag toggle for your VTuber avatar. So let's go ahead and get started by simply going to add asset here. Then you're going to go and find the tail asset right here. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to set the parent asset to your character of choice. Then the path, which warning is messy. I'm sorry that the navigation thing is so messy. That's um, hopefully this can get kind of repaired one day. But for the time being, um, you're going to have to try your best and navigate through this. But you're going to go ahead to pass and you're going to try and find your tailbone. Typically tailbones uh, should be somewhere at the bottom. Like let's say for example for this Void model for Donut Chan here, uh, there is the fox tail naming here so you can go like kind of near the bottom and find it here um, most tails should be at the bottom of the list anyway and pretty much you can start seeing that your tail is wagging which is quite nice you can of course fine-tune the settings as well uh simply by making the waving axis let's say we want it to be just the y-axis or something like that so it just wags you know left and right you can make the range a lot more and just kind of like adjust from there if you like. So, you know, you can pretty much do that and kind of figure out like how you want the tail wag to be. Um, but pretty much though, um, once you have like the tail wag of choice, you can be able to set the waving to no. And from there, what we can do, again, making sure, again, double check that this is like how you want your tail wag to look like. Uh, again, adjusting even physics and these other stuff as well. Mainly the f uh, physics and the waving is what you want to care about. But let's set the waving to be no for the time being. And then you can go into your blueprints here. Go ahead and click on add blueprint and we're going to go ahead and rename this to tail wag and click OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type in either. So this depends whether you are a stream deck user or if you are just using a keyboard. So keystroke is for the keyboard. So pretty much either one. I'm going to call this tail wag. What you're going to do is that you are going to set uh, type in set asset property, set asset property. And then uh, from here, you can uh, connect either stream deck or the keystroke here. Then set the asset to the tail, go to data pass, and then for waving, find the one that says enabled and set this to yes on toggle. Simply, you can press one to test and then press one again to stop the tail wag. There could be more advanced stuff that you can do, such as let's say you actually want to have the tail wag to be enabled. Like let's say you want the tail, like the tail to have like an idle movement by default and then eventually like wag really fast. Then for something like that case, then I would recommend um, we could do set. Um, we can actually again try and do this simply. We'll use a flip flop node just again for simple sake. And we're going to type in set asset property again. So this one here, set that to the tail. And then for data pass, you can set this to have the waving speed. And then control C and then control V to set this to waving range and connect those two together like so. So these two up here is going to actually, actually we're going to set this to B because this is going to be our default idle state, you know, having this idle wag and we want it where A is actually going to be the one that's wagging really fast. So go ahead and hold the control button, click and drag and then control C and control V to duplicate those two. And then from here, connect the A over here. You can also connect your stream deck and your keystroke here. And then you can set the value to be a lot higher if you want. So you can simply test by pressing the enter here. Um, 
and just kind of like, you know, just experimenting to see if it's to your liking. So let's do that. Let's say this is the tail wag that we want. And then pretty much um, all we need to do is just press on um, the one button here, which for some reason the keystroke is not working. So I'll just press on flip flop uh, to be able to toggle it. Yeah, so let me see if I can try setting this control one. Ah, there you go. Now it works. Okay, so pretty much now you should be able to have a toggle if you want a bit of a more advanced setup to do a tail wag. So again, if you have very particular settings that you want, this is how you can be able to do it. And again, you can make it more lengthy, again, to cover every little setting Again, if you want to have it super particular, but you get the idea. This is pretty much in a nutshell how you can make a tail wag toggle. I hope that this tutorial helps you out and have a lovely day. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!